morning, everybody. So, or afternoon if you're watching this then, or evening if you're watching it then. I always forget to do that. Okay, so what we are doing today is we're going to be talking about Quebec's independence movement. Hopefully you watched the notes on today's unit, which was going to be about culture. I'm sorry, it was about history and government. And it talks about how Quebec used to be, you know, owned or colonized by the French. And then the British came in. Now, when this happened, it's going to cause a lot of issues because those are two very different cultures, French and British. Okay. And it's going to end up resulting in years, years, years later, what is called the Quebec independence movement. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a short three paragraph reading. I know you're like Miss Larson. That is like a full page. It's because I have the font up. I have it, you know, double spaced. It's really not that much. Okay, y'all can handle it. But what you're going to do is you're going to read these three paragraphs. And if you want, you can translate it. I made sure to put it as a document. So you can, you know. Sorry. So you can, uh, you can't see it, but you can translate it over here. Um, you can copy and paste it and translate it. Do however you want. Um, you can also highlight. I do like doing this in documents because this way you can highlight if you want. Okay. But what you're going to do is, like I said, you're going to read these three paragraphs and then you're going to answer these eight questions. Now, six of these are vocab words that you're going to need for the reading. Now, these are words we did not go over for our unit vocab because they're not really, it's not something we're going to talk a lot about. But it is something I want to make sure we understand for this reading. Okay. So what you have to do is you just have to type in the letter. So say number one is A. It's not. You're just going to type A. You don't have to like delete or add or any, do anything for it. Okay. So you're going to do that for the six here. And then during the reading, you're going to be able to figure out the pros or the positives and the cons or the bad things about this independence movement. So I want to know what are the reasons that Quebec should be independent. You'll type it here. And what is the reason it should not be independent? So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to highlight this. So support is good and that's green. And oppose is, you know, bad thing. So that's going to be red. Okay. So green, good, red, bad. Okay. Just a little bit of a reminder for y'all if you need it. So this is all you have to do today. Okay. Besides listening to the notes, please, please, please make sure we are doing that. Okay. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and I'm going to read this, this reading to you. Uh, if you don't want to listen to me read it, you can exit on out of the video. If you don't, you want it read to you, but you don't want me to read it to you. Remember, we have this read aloud box over here that will do just that. But otherwise, just these eight questions is what you got to do today. Okay. If you don't want to listen to me read not going off. I will see you next class period, but I'm going to start reading now. So again, this is about Quebec's independence movement, and I'm going to give you a couple information, background information about Quebec, and then we'll move into the actual independence movement itself. Okay. So Quebec is a province located in Eastern Canada and has a long history. A French explorer, Samuel du de Champlain established Quebec in 1608. This colony and other nearby French colonies thrived from the fur trade with local Native Americans. These thriving colonies created tension between the French colonists and the British colonists. In 1610, two years later, British explorers began colonizing areas surrounding the new French colonies. This tension eventually led to the French and Indian War sometimes called the Seven Years' War in 1754. Britain won this war in 1763. Even though Quebec became a British colony, its citizens were not changing their culture from French to British. They held on tightly to their French culture. The Quebec Act of 1774 officially did not require Quebec citizens to assimilate to or conform to the British culture. 
Ideas of Quebec separating from Canada really took hold in the 1960s. French Canadians in Quebec felt their culture was so different from the rest of Canada that they should succeed. These French Canadians who wanted to succeed wanted to preserve their French culture and were in fear that it would be lost to its English slash British neighbors. Opposers to secession were concerned about the economic strength of Quebec without the rest of Canada. Quebec held public votes on separation from Canada in 1980 and 1995. These votes resulted in Quebec staying united with Canada. In response, though, the Canadian government began certain reforms or changes to accommodate its French citizens. This included the national language officially becoming bilingual in 1982. This reform requires that all government documents be printed in both English and French to show support to its French Canadians in Quebec. There is a possibility that the nation will host another special vote to allow the public to weigh in on the succession of Quebec. As of right now, however, Quebec is still a province in Canada. So now we're going to come on down here. We're going to read our vocab. Number one is people who are against something, someone, or an idea. So again, you're just going to type in A, B, C, D, E, or F. Number two, to separate from a union. Number three, environment of conflict or disagreements between two groups of people. Number four, changes or policies that promote change. Number five, conform to, typically referring to people conforming to a new culture and adopting new cultural traits. And number six, to, to provide for in order to be considerate of others' wishes. So again, what you're now going to do is you're going to type in this box, or you could copy and paste it, reasons to support, to support Quebec's independence movement, and a reason to oppose or to go against Quebec's independence movement. If you have questions, please let me know. Otherwise, go ahead and turn this in. I'll see y'all later.